Now let's talk about calf management and it's one of the uh, main uh, uh, issues that farmers need to uh, be aware and how to manage a calf and we are advising farmers to note that they ought to take care of the calf from the time before it is born and that is why uh, we say that calf management starts before birth and during uh, that time there has to be care on the cow together with the calf itself. Um, normally this is the time when uh, the cow is being steamed up. Uh, the cow should be um, is isolated and uh, monitored um, a few days um, before it's expected a day of uh, a calving. And uh, the cow has to be uh, given enough feeds uh, in the right quantities, enough water. And um, as we had discussed earlier uh, in the previous sessions, uh, at this time, the cow will really need to utilize uh, the minerals uh, through the supplements that uh, are given as well as the protein that uh, needs to help the, 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 the cow as well as um, uh, energy feeds to help in uh, uh, rehabil rehabilitation of the, of the rumen. Therefore, uh, it's important to note that cow, uh, calf management doesn't start uh, when the calf is born. It starts before uh, the calf uh, is born. Now next, after the cow has been born, what should be done? And just a, a quick advice to the farmers is that um, once the cow has calved down, you as a farmer you need to be there and to monitor the calf uh, to make sure that the calf is breathing. If the calf is not breathing, then you have to um, hold the calf, uh, the hind legs of the calf, and, um, and swing it to make sure that um, uh, there's some movement and the calf is, is, is breathing. Um, in uh, cases where uh, the calf is not breathing, then uh, the farm is supposed to make sure that they inform um, the veterinary officer to be available and to be close to attend to any emergencies uh, that may, uh, may occur. Uh, one other important uh, thing that should be done on the calf is that the calf should be uh, moved to um, uh, uh, a safer place and uh, uh, the first time the calf uh, should be allowed uh, to circle uh, the, the cow and if the calf doesn't uh, do that, the, the calf should be assisted to see whether they uh, are able in a position uh, to circle the, the calf. This is important because it, 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 is, it, it helps uh, the cow now to, um, uh, to, to, to release um, the colostrum and to prepare uh, the udder uh, in, uh, for milk uh, uh, production. It is important that the calf is fed on colostrum. And this is why we are talking about feeding. Um, the first six hours after its bath. This is important because colostrum helps in improving the immunity of the calf. So it is important that um, the calf is given colostrum and in cases where a colostrum is not available, then the farmer should seek uh, advice within the shortest time to be guided on how to uh, acquire or to prepare uh, artificial colostrum. Um, during the first um, hours when the calf has been born, the calf should be introduced to colostrum. It's a composition of, um, of, uh, of that's the first milk uh, uh, from a cow that has just calved, and uh, it comprises of um, a high, high protein, and um, of course water, and, um, and minerals. Which, uh, may, uh, uh, which actually will include uh, calcium and other uh, required minerals for the calf, which, as I've mentioned, um, are good in boosting the immunity of the calf. During the second, um, uh, uh, between the third and the fourth uh, day, 
the, the, the calf should uh, now be uh, able to comfortably uh, uh, take in uh, colostrum as well as milk and uh, should be assisted uh, to uh, consume this uh, for the period before it's being introduced uh, to hay uh, and, and, and to other solid uh, matter. Um, the calf should be fed on milk um, for a period between uh, five uh, to eight uh, uh, weeks. Uh, but during that period, uh, the farmer should also introduce uh, other uh, dry matter and um, like uh, hay and calf starter to enable the calf to uh, uh, start preparing the, the rumen uh, for uh, winning. So it is important that the farmer uh, takes into consideration the kind of feeds to be given to the calf um, uh, uh, at, the, at the right time. Um, during um, calf uh, feeding, there are a number of uh, quantities that are required that the farmer uh, needs to, to not to give the, the calf. Um, when milk feeding, uh, feeding the, uh, the calf with milk, there are options that the farmer could uh, 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 use. Uh, one will be having the calf suck the, 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 the mother uh, uh, for some time, but again, uh, it's not always uh, accurate because you wouldn't really know how much milk the calf has suckled from the, uh, f from the mother. The other uh, option that a farmer could use is to um, give the, to, to milk the cow and uh, do what we call uh, uh, bucket feeding whereby they'll be able to measure the uh, good, uh, I mean the required proportion of milk and uh, give it to the calf. We also have what we call bottle feeding. The milk can be put into bottle, uh, bottles uh, meant for uh, feeding the calves and then the calves can feed um, uh, on milk from those bottles. And one of the main uh, requirements for a calf is minerals. Minerals uh, should be given as supplements to the calf uh, to help in uh, provision of uh, the right uh, minerals like calcium and strengthening of the, the bones uh, for the calf so that uh, she can grow up uh, strong. And uh, the farmer also needs to know that uh, the calf uh, has different requirements of, um, of, of, of feeds and therefore the right proportions of feed should be allocated uh, to the to the animals. Uh, normally, uh, when introducing feeds to the, to the calf, um, from the time of uh, before weaning, the calf should be given uh, dry matter and concentrates uh, of about uh, three kilograms um, in a day. But uh, during the process of um, uh, uh, preparing the calf to weaning, the calf should be given uh, at least four liters of milk every day, two in the morning and two um, in the evening. Now when you talk about housing, we have um, um, uh, uh, different requirements uh, which can also be determined by, by farmers. It is always advisable that the farmer puts up a structure early in time in preparation of the calf uh, which is going to be, to be reared. And um, a standard uh, 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 calf pen should be should be about uh, two meters, uh, two meters squared. This uh, will be about uh, uh, a size of uh, between one point, um, one point two to one point five. But it's always uh, advisable for the farmer to construct a calf pen that. Um, has um, uh, enough space because this calf will be growing and uh, will be increasing in size. Therefore, uh, a recommended size will be uh, a calf pen which will range between uh, 1.5 meters and, um, and uh, 1.8. But uh, the, this has to be put in mind that uh, the, the calf pen need to be uh, well designed with the uh, good materials. Uh, the, the floor should be uh, well designed and uh, with the 
uh, strokes. We can, the farmer can decide to put even strokes to enable the calf to sleep and uh, uh, comfortably. The calf pen should also be well ventilated. It's important that uh, we have a good ventilation uh, of the calf. Um, as we saw from um, uh, Buena Wilkim, we also saw that the structure has a feeding unit closer to the uh, to the calf pen. So there has to be a provision of um, a feeding area where the calf uh, could easily access the feeds and also uh, an area where the calves will access uh, water. Um, it is also uh, important to note that um, this housing for a calf should also be secure enough to prevent predators and those um, other harmful um, uh, uh, animals that can get into uh, the, the calves. And this is, this is a, a, a major consideration that uh, farmers should always uh, keep in mind. Um, let's talk about um, a disease control. And um, uh, during the early uh, age of the calf, uh, the, the calf is prone to many major disorders. And, and these are majorly uh, disorders that uh, I reflect as pneumonia and uh, diarrhea. Uh, what causes uh, pneumonia in most cases when the calves are born is when the calf is, is, is fed on milk, which uh, may enter the, uh, through the windpipe into the lungs. This is also one of the major causes of, uh, of pneumonia. And one other major cause of pneumonia is uh, the exposure of the calf into adverse cold uh, weather condition. This will affect the, the calf and um, eventually uh, get into the lungs and uh, make the calf uh, uh, not uh, to have uh, breathing problems. Um, one other disorder that is caused uh, during that early uh, stage of uh, the calf is um, uh, the calf being prone to uh, bacteria, which may easily enter the intestinal uh, tract and cause diarrhea. Um, calf diarrhea, sh uh, when uh, a farmer observes that the calf is, has diarrhea, they should uh, check the, 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 the feeds and also make sure that the calf is being fed uh, from clean uh, containers and clean milk. In most cases, uh, the infection will, may have gotten in through the, the milk. And the major cause of diarrhea is, as I mentioned, is bacteria, which infests in the, uh, the, the, the intestine uh, of, the, of, the, animal, of the, cow, the calf, hence making it to diarrhea. So the farmer has to be uh, observant and keen on uh, having the, uh, the, the, the calf treated in time, and also to observe the, uh, the calf and to see whether there's any complication or there's any major disorder that uh, can be noticed. Uh, when we talk about growth rate in, uh, in calves, um, the expected uh, growth rate in calves should be uh, from 400 to 500 grams per day. And this will be dependent on the feeds that uh, this uh, calf is given. Remember, we expect that um, these calves attains um, a weight of 30 kilograms within the, 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 the first three months. So that is the, the, the average weight that you will find the calf attaining, but with proper feeding and management and also depending on the size of the calf. Uh, the weight can go way higher, but uh, always the farmer should consider uh, proper management of the calf to ensure that uh, they grow uh, fast enough uh, because they need to be prepared and, and within the right uh, time uh, be also uh, develop the organs and be ready to be served as, as heifers.